We've come here with Bart Marshall's BMW at Grimsby. And this here is the new. Just looking behind me to make sure I don't trip over something as I'm walking backwards. It's the new F900 GS. In a rather fetching green and red. We've just been looking at it. A lot of things are quite the same. The exhaust system appears to be the same. Same baffle box on the rear, but you've got the Acropovic exhaust system. But these panels look the same, so this panel here and the engine, water pump, top frame, plastics are different. The forks, although they appear to be exactly the same, same tube, same spaghetti braking system. Up the top here, oh look, we've got some adjustability. Same top yoke by the looks of it. Looks like if you get the risers off my bike, they fit straight on there. Looks like the same clumping down piece on here as well. Looks good. Appears to be the same trailing arm. This rear suspension isn't electronic by the looks of it. Yeah, I would say that's the same. They've got some better tyres. Oh, what are these tyres? And these are Metzella, Carew. Can't see, but they're a bit more off road orientated. The GS came with Anarchy. Anarchy 2s, I think. I don't know whether this one's a demonstrator or for sale. No, that's interesting. No, that's very interesting. Look, I've just changed the pedals on mine. Look, now the pedals on this one look are slightly further back and they're slightly lower. And I've just done exactly the same modification to my 850. The um, selector looks better. The other selector on it originally comes with is like a pressed, really soft steel pressed metal painted when it bends all the paint flakes off it let's have a look around here so yeah it's sort of this stuff this stuff here if you go down it bends dead easy these are really good though and it needs that but then does it need that now because with this being low the old peg was actually quite high it came out of here and it had like a hero blob on it but it wasn't like the bit you step on wasn't here it's about half inch higher so this is probably I don't know at least half inch lower, probably getting off three quarters of an inch lower. But when the bike goes down, it just folds this straight up. But I mean, you've got the benefit of being able to straighten it back out again while you're out in the field. So, uh, yeah. Looking good, I like the colour. Tire on the front again, obviously a Carew. Same brakes. Yeah, appears to be the same casting on this side as well. Is this a demonstrator then? Let's have a, s Let's have a sit on it then. Gonna have to go around here. Blimey, what's this? <laughs> this look, what's this? It looks like a a sausage dog, this must be the new BMW Dashend in uh, Primer Grey <laughs> or Polar White or something yeah look at that it's very long, it's very long and lean <laughs> it looks just like a Dachshund that hook looks like it should be on the back, it's got the plastic off it well it looks like you could get probably four or five people on that bench seat well, have a look at this thing, this seat's nice, that's quite a nice detail back here if you happen to go down a steep slope, you can, uh, gives you a bit of grip, just swing the leg over this beast though, if the camera a bit hemmed in here, oh yeah there we go, oh that's interesting, right so this, I don't know whether this is a standard seat or what, so this bike is as high as an 850, I've got the electronic suspension, this bike to me, I've literally, I've got my feet 
flat on the floor so that's kind of like on my bike that's the middle setting and to be honest I've kind of settled on having it on the middle setting because um, it's just the best of both worlds. If you do some light road work, I'll probably put it on the highest setting, just increase the fork rake a bit. Well, I'll tell you what, now these forks are pretty good. Plus, obviously, they're adjustable. So, what have we got? We've got preload, preload. There's compression, is this rebound? This yeah. Does it say rebound? Oh, yeah. yeah. Well, that's interesting as well, then, so. I've got the Andriani forks in my 850 and they kind of copied that then so rather than trying to have everything happening on one fork leg they've evened it out so some of the cartridge systems you get you've only got the one leg which means you only have to change one leg and this is the easiest leg to work on the right hand side leg but it does mean that everything's on it so your preload's all on one spring which to me is strange because it must put some torsional pressure through your front wheel spindle but there we go but yeah this is the best setup yeah so you got rebound on one side and compression on the other yeah pretty good pretty much feels the same up here in the cockpit this actually looks a bit strange seems a bit those right these handlebars are straight that's almost it looks bent doesn't it, it looks like it's a at an angle strange maybe somebody's fell off it but yeah that you know those bars to me are dead straight now it looks like this point here is further away than this point here doesn't it very good still got the non-folding mirrors on it the controls look the same what's this that must be Yeah, so that's interesting, that possibly a traction control kill, so probably whilst I'm riding along I can hit the traction control if I'm on a trail, I don't need the traction on, maybe if I press that it cuts it straight out without having to stop, I don't know. There we go then. Don't know what this colour's called, maybe it's pea green, I don't know. Yeah, side stunt's completely different. Yeah, I do like the uh, I do like the shifter, but if you do drop the bike, and it's going to snap, isn't it? Yeah, interesting. <laughs> Looks good though. Right, I'm going to go in the shop. I've not seen anything interesting to do in there. So there you go. There is your F900. GS. Although it's still got the baffle box on, it does come with the Acropovic, so what it sounds like, not sure, and actually in a while we're over here I've just noticed the bash plate is the plastic one, which, yeah, it's quite a heavy bike, um, it really wants something a bit more than that, I've got an alloy one on mine, which is just about up to the job, but I am considering getting something a bit beefier. I've seen something made by Heed, um, but it obviously it's the interaction with it, with your crash bars, because obviously that bike's got no crash bar on it whatsoever at the moment. Anyway, there we have it, yeah. Over and out. We've just noticed something quite interesting, which follows on from one of the videos we did the other day. Here's the rear brake light switch. And interestingly, it's no longer held in with two little pins driven in from the back side. Look, just here, I hope you can see, there's a little screw. And if you pan out to the outside, just here, is a hole drilled through, all the way through, and threaded. So, yeah, I understood this is in a vulnerable position, so it needs to be able to be a bit more easily removed. Strangely, though, if we look from the top, it actually looks exactly the same, and it's just as vulnerable. <laughs>